News, Views, Voices of the Global Indian Community, India Abroad. Why aren't the Indians innovating more, more, more broadly? I think there's some. We don't hear of them, but there's some. Uh, I think a lot of Indian innovators now are going to Singapore or to uh, Silicon Valley to set up because they find access to the uh, final markets much easier there. We need to ask what is it that, that forces them to go outside of India to set up rather than stay inside India. But even in, in so what is, what is uh, really heartwarming is talking to some of these entrepreneurs and seeing their desire to change the world. And increasingly many of them are not uh, you know, happy staying in India. They want to actually expand uh, more globally. So, for example, Mustafa already has operations in the Middle East. Uh, but I, I, I think there is a, a young India is no longer, it has a Kohli mentality, Virat Kohli. Uh, I'm second to none in the world. Uh, but I'm not sure it both by working really hard, but by delivering eventually. And so I, I think it'll happen. Um, you know, when will we have an NVIDIA of our own? It'll take some time, but I think uh, the ambition is there amongst the young. The Maybe third question was about administ uh, about uh, you know, politicians and their, you know, this is, uh, uh, what gives me hope is when I read about the politicians in the US in the 19th century. <laughs> <laughs> and I realize they're not very different from the politicians we have now. So there is progress eventually, uh, but but that's why I think it's important for democracy uh, to to play a big role. It can't be that one party has the ability to whitewash all sins and uh, and take it to its uh, its. Uh, anyway, you understand what I'm talking about. I I, I think we uh, we need to constantly focus the light. On the bad apples and hope that parties improve their their